Welcome back warriors to Warrior Cats Clan Generator. It's been a little while since we saw our wonderful Sky Clan. Last episode was very exciting. We had many cats join the clan. We had, how many kids did we have? We had two kids join from suspicious circumstances. We had a, another kit born, which I believe was Tumble Stars and Hornet Tails kit, which I think is this little guy. Blizzard kit, I believe. Let's have a look. Hoot kit. Was Hoot kit the one? Yes, I believe so. That is right. So this is Hoot kit. Hoot kit is Tumble Stars and Hornet's child. Uh, Horn Hornet's child? Hornet Tails child because they have these little dots here, which means Hoot kit is their kitten. We also have Talon Paw as well. We also have Phileo Kit. I believe Phileo Kit is yep, Little Lily and Olive Roots Kitten along with Blizzard Kit. And then we've also got these guys. These were the little ones I was thinking of. So we have Deep Kit and Comfrey Kit, which are Sporefoot's kittens. But we don't know who the mother is. So that's suspicious. Uh, yeah, so who knows? I think he was seen, was he seen with a rogue or just another clan cat? I don't remember, but he was seen with another cat, I believe. Unless that was another cat. I don't know, there's, a bit, there's been some weird stuff going on recently. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep track. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. But that is basically where we are. We have lots of kids. We have an apprentice. And that is that, pretty much. It's... Leaf Bear again, which is awesome. I'm gonna just see how everybody is doing. Tumblestar is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Oh, he's been in a fight again with, I believe it was... Where are you? Lucy Peak, that's the one. Lucy Peak, and then also... Also... You. No, that is Lucy Peak. <laughs> you, Sporefoot. And then we've also got little Lily, who is also down. Out. I think, yeah, recovering from birth. That is why she is there. But anyway, Tumblestar is wondering what living with two legs must be like. My cat seems to enjoy it. She likes having snuggles every day. Shimmer Sky wonders how Hornet Tail is doing. Hornet Tail is having a good day. That is how she's doing, Shimmer Sky. Olive Root is sharpening their claws. Frostfire is helping organize the herb stores. Bogblaze feels exhausted after mediating so many arguments. Rindle Leaf wonders if being a warrior would have been more fun. You was a warrior. You're just a mediator now, but you was originally a warrior. Cypress Gaze is mediating a couple's relationship. Little Lily is wishing Blizzard Kit would play more quietly. They're just having fun. Motto Twist is helping to escort medicine cats to gather herbs. Lucy Peak is trying to remember the taste of the food their two legs used to give them. Oh, sounds like she's missing home. I'm not surprised. She's been beaten up twice in this plan. Sporefoot is giving some advice to Deep Kit. Tree Patch thinks that they are the best hunter in the clan. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Talonpaw feels worn out from training. Cute Kit is a bit cross with Blizzard Kit. Flail Kit is sitting all alone. Oh, Flail Kit, that is so sad. Blizzard Kit is hiding from other cats. All right. Deep Kit mu mules pitifully for milk. Oh. Humphrey Kit tries to figure out all of the smells around them. Oh. Man, look how many cats we have. There's just cats everywhere. Oh. All right. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We need to see how our Chica Whisker is doing. It's currently walking in the dreams of Tumblestar. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. And then Togepi is purring as they watch fellow ghost cats frolic and play. Aw, that is so cute. Aw, how sweet. But look, look how many cats we have. There's just so many. Ah! All right, let's go on our patrols, guys. I love how blue... Frostfire's eyes are. They're gorgeous. Okay, well, why don't we go on a training, uh, on some training with these two. Where is training? There it is. Let's go on training patrol. Oh, we haven't been on a training patrol in so long. Motto Twist suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Talonpaw. Both cats have a nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks with each other. All right, that looks like that went well. Very good, guys. Okay. Now let's go on a herb gathering betrayal. Oh no, we've only got... Wow, we really don't have many cats available, do we? Hmm. Well, as it's free medicine cats, why don't we send... I feel like Olive... Uh, I don't know, who would want... Do you know what? We're going to send Frostfire on her own for 
on a patrol. These two can go together. I guess they can talk about, you know, both recently having kits and whatnot. So that'll be interesting. But then Frostfire is going to go on her own. And then Shimmer Sky can go on a border patrol. And Tree Patch can go on a hunting patrol. I think that sounds good. But right, let's go on a herb gathering patrol first. Onito and Olive Root stroll through the territory, chatting while on their way to a herb patch they haven't visited in a while. The two medicine cats walk in circles for a while before realizing that they've completely forgotten where the herb patch is since it's been so long. How embarrassing. Haven't they done this like three times now? <laughs> I feel like they've done this about three times. Okay, let's see if Frostfire has any more luck. Frostfire finds a nice spot to sun her themselves. Okay. The sunlight feels great and Frostfire has a successful patrol. Oh, look at this image. It's so cute. So Burdock and Horsetail were gathered. Nice. Maybe the cats just need to go on their own so then they don't get distracted. Okay, Tree Patch. You can go on a hunting patrol. Tree Patch finds a common buzzard eating crow food on top of a high cliff. They crouch down to hunt, but wait, was it buzzards or vultures that the mountain clans respected? Oh, okay, time for the dice. Okay, so one to three, he, he goes for it. Or to six, he does not. And we got a six, so he's not gonna go for it. Better not risk it, Tree Patch turns tail and goes home trying to think of a way to ask the difference between the two birds that doesn't end up confusing them even more. Bless him. <laughs> right, now Shimmer Sky, you are gonna go on a border patrol, my friend. You can't go on a border patrol, my friend. Why? Can you only go on so many patrols? Oh. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay, well, I guess... We'll just pretend that he went on a board of patrol. <laughs> I guess he can't do that. I did not know that. My bad. Okay. Well, then in that case, I guess we're going to finish this moon and see what happens. 24 moons. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Tumblestar's wound has healed well. Good. Sporefoot. Sporefoot has healed from their claw wound. Sporefoot's bite wound has healed, but the injury left them scarred. Olive Roots, small cut is no longer bothering them. Lucy Peak's wound has healed well. Okay, all three who were involved in the fight has healed. That's good. Mortal Twist has gotten a runny nose. Oh no. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Interested in all the myths and stories told by the elders and queens, Hootpaw, Hootpaw huh, decides to become a medicine cat apprentice, hoping to someday speak to those gone before. Olive Root loves their determination and eagerness to learn and agrees to take them on as their apprentice. Whoa, that's so exciting. Lucy P gives Hootport something to adorn their pelt as congratulations. As the herb stores are inspected by the medicine cats, it's noticed that some of the horsetail went bad. They'll have to be replaced with new ones. Okay. Wow, Hootport became an apprentice already. That's crazy. Wow. Now to read all the relationships. Shimsky is able to work together with Rindleleaf. Shimsky punishes Talonpaw with extra work. Oh. That's not very nice. Tumblestar challenged Olive Root to spar with them. Tumblestar and Lucy Peak heckled another clan at the gathering together. Okay. Tree Patch thinks the prey deep kit is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Cypress Gaze was noticeably distracted while Olive Root was trying to tell a story. Cypress Gaze is sharing tongues with Lucy Peak. Rindle Leaf caught Hoot Kit complaining about them the uh, uh, behind their back. Rindle Leaf stares at Shimmer Sky with an unreadable expression. Hmm. Sporefoot and Hoot Kit enjoy each other's company. Sporefoot thinks the Prey Blizzard Kit is biting into on the inside of camp looks delicious. Pogblaze had a spat with Olive Root over a piece of Prey on the Fresh Kill Pile. Come on guys, we're all adults. Yeah. Pogblaze thinks Sporefoot was nice to them today. Olive Root has been spending time with Lucy Peak lately. Hey, Olive Root. Olive Root, Little Lily and Tumblestar took a sun bath and had a small talk. A little, little small talk. What? <laughs> Olive Root is admiring Lucy Peak from afar. Hmm. Olive Root, I don't like this. Mm -mm -mm. Little Lily is rethinking how they feel about Tree Patch and gives them another chance. Okay. Little Lily heard an ugly rumor about Deep Kit. Oh, leave Deep Kit alone. Little Lily purrs for a long time at one of Olive Root's lame jokes. Frostfire thinks Talonport is very helpful. Ah. Bonnetail noticed Rindley flirting with someone else. <gasps> oh. Bonnetail, Sporefoot, and Flail Kit had a nice talk while eating. Hornet Tail and Tree Patch actually get along better today. Lucy Peak trips over Flail Kit. Oh gosh. Lucy Peak appreciates how Hoot Kit always seems 
Hoot Kit, not a kit anymore, but how Hoot Kit, or Hoot Paw rather, always seems to ask how they're doing. Mottle Twist and Shimmer Sky joke around about how bad the other clans smell. Mottle Twist is sharing prey with Hoot Paw, Hoot Paw. What? Why does that say Hoot Kit and that say Hoot Paw? I don't know. Hoot Paw says something really rude to Tree Patch. That's not very nice, Hoot Paw. Flail Kit is giving Little Lily a task. <laughs> Flail Kit is giving a warrior a task. Oh, wow. It's such a kit thing to do. Blizzard Kit caught Frostfire complaining about them behind their back. Talonpole wishes they could get their pelt to shine like Lucy Peaks. Deep Kit is asking Frostfire where kits come from. Come free Kit appreciates how Bogblaze always seems to ask how they're doing. Oh, that was a lot. All right. Oh, look, it's New Leaf. Wow, okay. <gasps> look at them. Look how freaking cute these kits are. Oh my lord. That is adorable. Are they wait. Oh, it's Deep Kit and Comfrey Kit. They are adorable. Where is our other little one? Uh, Whoa, look at Hootpaw. What do you have in your pelt? Cardinal feathers. Where did Hootpaw get cardinal feathers? I don't know. But wow, you're a gorgeous cat. Nice. All right, let's do some... Let's see how everybody's doing and then we're going to do some mediating. Tumblestar, where are you? Tumblestar, there you are. Okay, well, he's got the same scar he had before, so he hasn't gained any more scars. Tumstar is thinking about exiling elders from now on. What? What? Is that something we should do? Oh. Oh, that's going to break my heart. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, let me know if you think... We should exile the elders or one of the elders. Maybe the elder he has the lowest relationship with. I don't know. But he's thinking about it and he is. He's bloodthirsty. He's a, he's a mean cat. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know your thoughts on that one. That's that's taking me off guard. I don't know. Shimmer Sky saw a two-leg kit playing with a kitty pet. Hornet Tail was happy that they chose life as a medicine cat. Olive Root saw a pair of two legs near the camp today. That's not good. Frostfire is giving advice to Bugblaze. Hoot Paw is dreaming of someday making their clan proud. Ah, you do look like a medicine cat with those little feathers in your tail. Bugblaze is wondering if kitty pet life is really so bad. A lot of cats are wondering about kitty pet life today. Have you noticed? Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. Rindle Leaf is playing a prank on Lucy Peak. Cypress Case is greatly annoyed by a clanmate's inability to accept they were in the wrong. Oh dear. Little Lily tries to set a good example for the young cats. Little Lily is always trying to do that, bless her. She's a good egg. Mottle Twist wistfully thinks of their soft kitty pet nest while trying to nap. Well, what, what, what's going on? Why is everybody wanting to be a kitty pet? She's sick. She's sick. Are you sick? Why are you sick? What's wrong with you? Oh, runny nose, of course. <laughs> I remember. Lucy Peak is a bit cross with Flow Kit. Swerfer tries to set a good example for young cats. That's good. Tree Patch is feeling silly. Aww. Talonpaw got caught trying to sneak out of camp without a warrior. <sighs> Ooh, Talonpaw, that's not good, especially as you came from another clan. They could very well think you're going back to that clan. Pretty sure it was Wolverine clan he came from. Flailkit is running like a whirlwind around the camp. That's adorable. Blizzardkit is trying to scare a Root. That's adorable. Deepkit is asking the other cats about how kittens are made. That's adorable. Comfreykit thinks they saw a star clan cat in their dreams. <gasps> Ooh, maybe you'll become a medicine cat one day. Though I feel like we have a lot of medicine cats now. We have four. Does a clan need four medicine cats? Well, I guess there is a lot of cats here. Hey, look, there's scratch marks on that wall. I see Frostfire is releasing some frustration, apparently. Okay, well, let's do some mediating, guys. Who should we mediate? Yeah, these two don't have much of a relationship. Let's not allow romantic and let's mediate. All right. Uh, who else can we mediate? Let's get Bog Blaze. See who we got. Ah, these two don't really know anybody. Okay, well, apparently Deep Kit dislikes Tree Patch. No, sorry, Tree Patch dis Tree Patch dislikes Deep Kit. Huh. Well, we're gonna mediate that and change that. And then we've also got where is Rindle Leaf? There you are. Who are we gonna get? Eh, yeah, these two don't know each. Ah, Cypress Gaze feels comfortable. That is adorable. What? Why did it change from comfortable? <gasps> mediate failed. No. I forget that can happen! Mm, uh, damn it. Alright. Respect decreased. Trust decreased. Comfort decreased. Dislike increased. God damn it. Fine. 
I'll just go on patrols. Whoa, that's a lot of cats to go on patrol with. <laughs> now I kind of worry that we there's only so many cat patrols you can go on. So I'm gonna send I'm gonna send these guys all. Wait, who's your your Oliver? Uh, I'm gonna send all of these guys in, on a training session. I can't because you are a medicine cat. Gosh, darn it. All right, fine. I will send these guys on a training session and then we'll sort the others out afterwards. As the patrol gathers together to train under Tree Patch's leadership, Mottle Twist admits they think they had a vision from Starkiller last night. Ooh. The patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they train. Ooh. That'll be fascinating for Talonpaw to hear about. I'm sure he probably heard about it in his previous clan, but even so. All right, all right, all right. Let's just send all the medicine cats on a herb gathering patrol together, and then hopefully we can send out for a hunting and a border patrol. While searching for some specific herbs, Oliverud is startled by weird sounds and whispers on the wind. <gasps> Ooh, what was, what is that? What is that, I wonder? Let's proceed. It takes ages for Oliverud to pinpoint the sounds, but eventually they uncover the hidden birthing nest of a dead, Old queen. Oh no! Their newborn kits by their side. Olivery makes sure the queen is given a vigil. As the kits grow older, they'll have questions about their parent. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is terrible. Sadiki's ghost now wanders. Oh, Spring Kit joined the clan. Ivory Kit joined the clan. Quail Kit joined the clan. Oh gosh! Your clan's reputation towards outsiders has improved. Guys, we have more kits! Woohoo! That is great! But, oh my gosh, that's a, that is a lot of cats! <laughs> wow, okay. Alright. Oh, that poor mother. That's so sad. Aww. Okay, what well, we got here? You can go on a... You two can go on a border patrol. And we haven't gone on a border patrol yet. And then those two can go hunting together. Sporefoot finds a wounded cat near the thunder path. No! Ah! Not again, not another injured cat. I'm just gonna proceed. The patrol approaches the injured cat and sees signs of life, yes! Alarmed, they gently pick up the cat and take them back to camp to be treated by the medicine cat. Or cats in our case. The grateful cat decides to join the clan. Oh, we have another one, all right. Sap flip, sap flip, join the clan. Your clan's reputation towards outsiders has approved. Sap flip? I'm sorry, we gotta change that name. I'm sorry, we'll see what the cat looks like. And then either I'll, I'll change the name on the spot or you guys can come up with a new name, but Sap Flip? What? Maybe Sap Claw or, I don't know, Sap Tooth. Something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway. Now these two can go on a haunting patrol. Lucy Peak spies a fat rabbit on the other side of the Wing Clan border, a tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt on a different cat's territory. Well, you know what? I think... Tumblestar wouldn't care. So we're gonna get the dice out. We're going to either proceed or antagonize. I've not done antagonize. I don't know what happens. So one to three will be proceed. Four to six is antagonize. Oh, we got a four. Okay. Ah, a tempting opportunity and also a perfect one. Lucy Peak pounces and swiftly kills the rabbit, intentionally leaving evidence of their deed behind. Oh gosh. That will show those Wing Clan cats just how confident Sky Clan is in their own power. Oh, relations with Winterclan has worsened. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! Who are you? This is Saplip. It's getting used to their new home. Formerly a loner and is injured. What are you injured with? Broken bone. Oh, okay. Okay, who else is wandering around here that's just joined? Two kittens. So they're gonna be... They are gonna be here they are. Oh my lord. We've got little spring kit. It's snuggled safe in the nursery. We have Ivory Kit is snuggled safe in the nursery, and we have Quail Kit is snuggled safe in the nursery. Okay, so Quail Kit is a female, newborn, amber eyes, single striped pelt, looks like she's got a dark stripe down her back, medium length fur, her parent is Sadiki, we will have a look at Sadiki in a moment. She's charming. I have a lot of cats to add to our list. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it on the screen or not, I don't know. Untrained and orphaned. Oh, that's so sad. Ivory Kit is a male, heather blue eyes, rosette pelt. Look, it's just spotty. Looks like a little cookie. Medium length, Sadiki was the, the parent. 
nervous and orphaned. And then spring kit, bronze eyes, a marbled pelt, she got the swirls here. Medium then, Siddiqui was the mother. Daring and orphaned, okay. So I'm guessing we can see... City. whoa, look at you, you are gorgeous. <gasps> she was 82 moons old. She was a female adult, cobble eyes, speckled pelt, medium length fur, a loner, troublesome, good teacher, competent, and a loner. Oh, Do you have any, like, history? No? Ah. Let's see how Chica Whisker is doing as well. Is proud of Rindle Leaf. Ah. And then also Togepi. Visits their house folk to make sure they're okay. What? And what was Siddiqui doing? Explores a new starry world. Oh, that's sad. You poor girl. But at least your kits are in good hands. They are in this ever-expanding clan of cats. This was amazing. I haven't finished yet, actually. I forgot. We still need to do the... <laughs> still need to do the events. Uh, okay. Let's give a moon. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Bogblaze travels to Wolverine Clan to resolve some recent herb gathering disputes. Bogblaze. Why is Bogblaze doing everything? Bogblaze wanders out into the territory and was later found. No! A peaceful expression on their face. I guess the saying, one door closes, another one opens is true. We've had a lot of cats join the clan. It was inevitable that one was going to leave eventually. I love to blaze. Okay. You see, uh, no, I can't read now. Little Lily has recovered from birthing the litter. Frostfire visits the other medicine cats. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Lucy, Peak, and Tree Patch uh, take an early evening patrol out of camp to watch the moon rise. Maybe they're mourning their lost friend. Talonpaw's penchant for getting into and even starting trouble has almost made Tumblestar hold back on making them a warrior. Ooh. What? He's only just joined. Come on. However, Tumblestar can tell that Talonpaw has been trying really hard lately to make up for it and it would feel cruel to make them wait any longer. So Tumblestar names them Talon Tooth in honor of their wit. That's a good name. As the clan sits vigil, Sporfoot's voice cracks with grief. Talking about the time they had with Bogblaze, cats offer Sporfoot comfort and care. They refuse all of it. Oh no. The past moon, Bogblaze has taken their place in Star Clan. Sky Clan mourns their loss, and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners as those that were closest to them take them to their final resting place. That's sad. As the herb stores are inspected by the medicine cast, it's noticed that all of the time went bad, they'll have to be replaced with new ones. Okay, time for, whoops, time for the relationships. Shimmer Sky thinks the prey hoot kit is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Shimmer Sky doesn't notice deep kit leaving camp. What? That's not good. Go get him. Get him, her back. I don't recall if they're a male or female. <laughs> Talonpaw notices Tumblestar sulking around camp again. I'm not surprised, he just lost one of his elders, though he did want to, uh, exile all of them. So I can't imagine he actually feels that bad. After having Sap Flip challenge them, Tumblestar commands Buffett to help them. No! Again? Everyone ends up hurt, though Tumblestar feels they can trust Buffett more. Stop it! Sap Flip just joined the clan! We're gonna be losing another cat at this rate. Tumblestar appreciates how Hootpaw always seems to ask how they're doing. Treepatch said something really rude to Blizzard Kitch. Cypress Gay spends some time with Treepatch and they both end up understanding each other a little bit better. That's good at least. Cypress Gay is really surprised that Quail Kit's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. Rindle Leaf helps literally pick birds out of their fur. Rindle Leaf wants to explore the whole territory with Sporfoot. Everybody stop leaving the clan! Ah! Stop leaving the territory! Sporfoot and Sap, Sap Flip. Agree about something trivial. All right. Spoffer sees that Quail Kit's piece of prey looks tasty and asks if they'd like to swap. They agree happily, saying that they, they like that one better. Bob Blaze appreciates how Spoffer always seems to ask how they're doing. Bob Blaze thinks Olive Root is very helpful. Oh. Olive Root avoids facing Quail Kit directly while talking. Why? Olive Root, Mortal Twist, and Deep Kit take, took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Olive Root caught Tree Patch complaining about them behind their back. Little Lily bickered about something trivial with Sapflip. Everybody leave Sapflip alone. Little Lily sighs loudly every time Lucy Peak does anything on patrol. Oh dear. Get a rivalry going on here, I think. 
Crossfire and Tumstar agree about something trivial. Hornetail swaps favorite prey with Mottle Twist. Mottle Twist is settled in nicely, that's good. Hornetail is annoyed by Sporefoot's negative comments. Lucy Peak asks Deep Kit how they're doing. Lucy Peak stands tall when Hoopo uh, walks by. Mottle Twist is complaining that Tree Patch never does anything helpful. Mottle Twist covers the Blizzard Kit on something minor. Hoopo is sharpening their claws near Blizzard Kit. Okay, it's random. Flail Kit comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Quail Kit. Oh my gosh, guys, stop. Blizzard Kit is happy, is always happy to be around Tumblestar. Aw, that's cute. Talent Talon Tooth sees that Deep Kit's piece of prey looks tastier and asks if they like to swap. They agree happily, saying they like that one better. Deep Kit thinks Ivory Kit isn't very considerate of others. Comfrey Kit finds a bit of fluff that smells like Ivory Kit and adds it to their nest. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Spring Kit said something really rude to Cypress Gaze. That's not good. Ivory Kit is sharing tongues with Tree Patch. Quail Kit wants to spend more time with Literally. That's cute. Sapflip is complaining that Shimmer Sky never does anything helpful. Sapflip, you've, you've just joined. Calm your horses. Chill. Sapflip appreciates Talon Tooth. That's really, that's like a tongue twist almost. Talon Tooth. I don't know why. Sapflip appreciates Talon Tooth telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. As the clan sits vigil, Sporefoot's voice cracks. Okay, we read that one earlier. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. That's... That's a lot. That is a lot. Look at you, Talon Tooth. You're a handsome boy. Um, okay. So we've got... Where is the new little kits? We've got Ivory Kit. Look at Ivory Kit's eyes. Wow. We've got... Oh! <gasps> Whoa, Spring Kit, look at you. That is a beautiful little kitty cat. We've got this little one here too, Squail Kit. It's squeaky clean. <laughs> All right. So that's gonna have to do it for this episode, guys. It was a little bit crazy at times. And unfortunately, we lost one of our elder, in fact, our oldest elder, Bog Blaze. I, I, I need to just, I need to see Bog Blaze. Need to see Bob Blaze. Oh, there she is. She was 167 moons old. She was loving. Is surprised to find themselves walking the stars of Silver Pelt. That is so sad. But at least she has Chico Whisker and Fluff Zoom to keep her company and show her the ways of Star Clan. But alright, guys, that's gonna have to do for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. And if you know anybody else who would also enjoy this series, then please do share the video with them. Also, I really do appreciate all of your help and support on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.